How's it going folks? Mega Brain Channel here. So I just wanted to do a follow-up video from my video from last week in which I was uh, responding to a YouTuber by the name of Young Pharaoh and a congressional candidate from New York. I think his name is uh, Tony Montega. And in that video they were dragging uh, King Face's name, slandering him, and accusing him of scamming people out of money and not actually being in a coma. <laughs> they were saying that, uh, and this is, you know, uh, me just going off my memory. I don't know if Young Farrell was actually involved in it directly, but he was co signing what uh, Tony Montega was saying. What they were saying, though, was that King Face wasn't actually in a coma and that he was scamming people on GoFundMe and, uh, you know, Im implicating uh, uh, Candace Owens inside the whole ordeal in some manner. Fast forward to today and Kingface is now deceased. And so the whole one hour and 45 minutes to two hours that you guys spent uh, dragging this name, uh, dragging, dragging this man's name through the mud and slandering him is now invalid because now he's dead. So uh, I think Apologies are definitely in order, but I just wanted to say that I don't necessarily believe that Young Pharaoh wanted to go in that direction. But you know, like I said in my previous video, they were just being, they were like having a little bromance on a video camera and just agreeing with whatever the other one said for you know the majority of it until the, the end of it where they started disagreeing on things. But, um, King Face was really fighting for his life while you guys were curb stomping him on a live stream a couple of weeks ago. And I think it's uh, disgusting to say the least that I haven't seen any apology videos as of yet. Now he's gone and now he'll never be able to defend himself against all the different slanders that came his way. Uh, that being him scamming people and the FBI investigating him and also giving a, a small group of girls the HIV virus. So he, he doesn't get to clear his good name in any manner and you guys just spread that to thousands of people. I think that's absolutely disgusting. I think again apologies are in order. And this just goes to show why men and women alike shouldn't just jump on stories and just put things out into the into the um, world uh, so prematurely because now they both look like clowns and I want to just reiterate the fact that I do enjoy and respect a lot of the work that young Pharaoh does I think he should definitely vet the people that he lets on his platform a little bit more so he doesn't come out looking like a, com a complete idiot when things like this happens. Again, King Face is dead. King Face was, has been in a coma since July, fighting for his life. And you know, if you guys watch my channel, you know what I think already. King Face was an adamant Trump supporter, and you know, um, it just happens to be uh, a convenience that he would fall into a coma and then this one guy that's a candidate for the Congress so he says could be you know just a plant uh, somebody who was paid to, to destroy the King Face's name but either way it's very convenient that he falls into this coma and all of a sudden he's scamming people on GoFundMe not really in a coma and also just giving out AIDS like his Halloween candy so uh, I'm more so inclined to believe he was set up and killed you know some people are even going down a rabbit hole a little bit deeper and saying Queens flip killed him <laughs> for his uh, deal that he got with a uh, uh, iPhone app called uh, uh, caffeine I believe it's called 2020 as far as 2020 has gone I'm open to all uh, ideas on <laughs> what the reason could be for his uh, untimely demise and you know everything's believable to me so anybody who's laughing at uh, the notion that he could have been set up in some manner or you know he was sacrificed by one of his close friends so that they could take the next step into you know stardom of some sort uh, that's not far-fetched to me but generally it's unfair 
that he has to go to his grave in, uh, with his name in the mud when he was trying so hard to make a change in his life for the better. And he was trying to bring his community of black people with him. He was trying to inspire people to want more and aspire to more. And even the, the lowest of the low, if you see my last video, you saw me going on this tangent about how the lowest of the low couldn't tell me I was a bad guy for anything, uh, which was, you know, a little bit over the top. But he was on a path to show people in this country, it doesn't matter if you're the, low, the lowest of the low, you can change and become something greater. And, you know, he'll never get to uh, finish what he started, but his name's going to live on. He's got some very powerful friends and they're not going to let his name die. So in that regard, you know, salute to face and you know again his name lives on uh, I do hope that uh, young Pharaoh uh, either gets this message from me or you know hears the news at some point and understand what he needs to do to you know clear his conscience and get his good man back because as of right now inside my eyes you were played by some congressional candidate who was trying to stir something up to put eyes on himself and make himself look like some uh, righteous person in which anybody watching a video could clearly see he wasn't. He still got some kind of issues going on that are stopping him from becoming a more logical and um, mature person. Because you definitely, like I said, you're not going to go into any congressional or government facility as a low-life street thug and, and, and try to ask for somebody's respect or support. So I mostly blame that whole thing on him, but young Pharaoh has to take some responsibility for it because he allowed it on his platform. And though I couldn't really see that he was in actual agreement with a lot of the stuff that uh, Tony Montego was saying, he was still nodding his head and continuing to bromance and letting that information be spewed as if it was uh, factual and true. So, um, I want to say rest in peace to King Face. He was a very big inspiration for me even when I was going through a lot of the onslaught inside my own life of being a Trump supporter and just having to bear all of that by yourself inside a deep democratic black uh, environment having somebody like him just burst on a scene and cussing people out and like unapologetically being a Trump supporter was very inspirational and you know his demeanor uh, was always something to speak of and you know he still had a little growing up to do too because you know when he came back to the Queens flip show he might have went back down into the mud if somebody tested him too much. But even so, he tried to carry himself a different way because he knew he had friends like Candace Owens who he could embarrass if he went too low into the, into the dirt. Oh my goodness, I'm out of focus. I'm so mad. I just wanted to make this video and, and you know, call for apologies to be made. I think Tony Montega should get up on the screen and apologize too and uh, apologize to people for lying on King Face and saying that he was at home laughing at all, all the people who were trying to support him be, uh, getting better. That's disgusting. You don't deserve anybody's support for anything if you can't make sure the first thing you do when you wake up tomorrow is apologize to King Face. So with that, I'm going to uh, end this video. Um, it is getting cooler outside. I'm getting into this fall mode where I want to eat and watch anime and movies and space movies and stuff like that. I'm sorry guys. I'm just going to put it out as it comes to me. And you know, I don't want to keep on making these excuses every time I make a new video. But I, I'm not quitting. I'm just, you know, work and everything is just wild. I just got to get back into the flow. But I'm still making videos. You guys see my videos. They come maybe every two weeks now. But I want to get back on a more chronic schedule. 
I'm trying. I'm trying. And these are just updates. That's why I keep talking about it. But I'm going to leave this video right here. I'm out of focus. So the video is going to be crap. I'm not going to put a mega brain sign over it. So you're just going to see me blurry, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to end it right here. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about what those two did inside that last video. And if you think they should be apologizing or if they shouldn't be apologizing because you believe that face gave AIDS out to everybody and was laughing at people while he was dying because he was getting their uh, uh, GoFundMe money. <laughs> uh, Jack Bauer saved the president, I guess, and uh, eliminated the threat. <laughs> the Jack Bauer would be uh, Tony Montega, the guy who was uh, protecting the president's uh, <laughs> position and his, his uh, administration from this terrorist threat on GoFundMe. But anyways, guys, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.